All right, welcome to the podcast on numbers in chemistry, and uh, this is a very big deal because uh, there's a couple things we've, we're going to go over, um, some things that you're used to and some things that you're not used to. But in chemistry, we deal with data, and we deal with um, math, and so those, of course, both involve numbers, and so we've got to be able to understand how we're going to use the numbers uh, how we're going to do our math with the numbers because we want to be as accurate uh, as we can. So let's look at uh, two definitions that, that uh, play an important role. One is being accurate. Okay, Now accurate, you're probably familiar with that and that means you're getting close to, let's say, your target. Alright, so let's, um, let me think of how this, oops. Okay, so let me grab this. Okay, so accuracy is just how close a measurement is to the true value of uh, the quantity. So, for example, if you're you know, aiming at a dartboard and you're trying to hit the bullseye, uh, if you're accurate, you've hit the bullseye. Or if you're very close, you're, you're getting uh, close to the, the bullseye. So if, if, for example, we're doing uh, a lab and we're shooting for 1.00 grams, and we do an experiment and we get 0 0.999 grams, boy, we are pretty accurate because we're close to the true value of the quantity. Okay, So then the next thing would be uh, this precision number. And this is uh, something you might not be familiar with, but being precise means that when you make measurements, they are all close together. Okay? So the official definition is the exactness of a measurement. So let's say I am still throwing at the dartboard, and all three of my darts are really close together. Now it would be great if they are at the bullseye, but maybe they're more near the three. Okay? Because ultimately, uh, in chemistry, what we want to be is both accurate and precise. And that's a real important thing. Sometimes we'll be accurate, we'll get close to the right value, but maybe it'll only be one of my values. And when in uh, science, we often do more than one experiment. So we want multiple trials to be very close. So we want our values to be precise, close together, and we want to be accurate, which is close to the true value. Um, so look at this question right here. Pause the video for a second and think about this. Read this, uh, this thing right here. Right. and see what you think. Okay, so we look at those values, and we've got 1.11, 1 1.20, 0 0.79, 0 0.88, and we go, wow, uh, that's a big variety. So hopefully you would say that this is not precise. Notice that the values are not uh, close to each other. All right, those values are quite a bit different. So the, these values uh, are not precise. But what about the accuracy? Now in science, often we do more than one trial, and then we'll take the average of the trials. So if we average these four numbers together, 1.11 plus 1 1.20 plus 0 0.79 plus 0 0.88, if you look at that, if I were to add those up and divide by 4, I would get an average of 1. Okay, So what that shows is if we do multiple trials and we take the average of our values, we would be accurate. And that's one of the reasons we do many trials. Okay, So now let's look at a real-life example. Let's say uh, you're a police officer and there's some bad guys. <clears throat> and it turns out that you squeezed off four shots and it turns out you survived. Well, let's look at what we have here. Okay, We've got this one group right here, right centered in the chest, centered on the hip, and all over the place. Okay, Now, let's just say that the training has been so that uh, officers always aim for the chest. So if I look at this value uh, right here, okay, those values right here, not only is it hidden in the chest, but... Uh, they're all close together. So we would say that that is good accuracy and good position. Okay. Now over on this one right here, we have shots that are close together, which is the good news. Uh, unfortunately, the guy has no hip, but I don't know if uh, 
if you incapacitated him enough to before he got away or, or you know, I don't know, got a shot off on you. So since they're close together, what is this? Well, it's precise, but it's not accurate. Okay, oops. I get used to that. Okay. And then this last one, shots are all over the place. Now this is definitely taking this guy down. You've got a head shot, you've got a couple shoulder shots, a shot in the stomach, okay? Um, but if we are aiming for this spot right here, okay, we are not accurate and we are not precise since our values are all over the place. So this one right here is poor accuracy and poor precision. Okay? So those two concepts are really important, accuracy and precision. We're going to be dealing with numbers all the time. We want to make sure that we keep that in the forefront of our minds whenever we are collecting data.